Oh, hello, hello there. How you doing? Oh, so great. I'm so ready to finish this book. Yeah, this is going to be the third episode of This, this is How We Do it. it. And you know, I love reading for stamina. You know, I feel like it's so great to sometimes read a long book and just uh -huh. see if you can, it's like running a marathon. Yeah, and um, we've learned a little bit more each time. That's right. So today we're going to start with This is How I Help, okay? All right. All right, go ahead then. <clears throat> In Uganda, I sweep the courtyard with a broom. In India, I hang wet laundry on clotheslines to dry. In Italy, I feed off four cats. Oh, it sounds like my life. <laughs> and some wild ones that come to the backyard. Oh, oh I, I do that too. In Peru, I help tend the cornfields with our family farm. In Russia, I vacuum the floors and rugs. In I ran, I helped take care of my little brother, and in Japan, I helped cook dinner. Oh, look at all these kids helping. I wonder what uh, chores you do at home. I wonder yeah. if, uh, if our friends that are watching do some Do any of these, too. yeah. In Iran, on weekends, we all, oh, this is how we eat dinner. Uh. In Iran, on weekends, we all have dinner together, but on weekdays, it's just my mom, my little brother, and me. We eat in the kitchen around 9 o'clock. Oh. oh, that's very late. For us. Yeah. A dinner of grilled chicken, salad with tomato and cucumbers, mm. yogurt, and bread with water to drink. In Russia, we all eat together in the kitchen around 6 o'clock. Oh, that's that's usually the time I eat dinner. Me yeah. too. Uh, a meal of salad, mashed potatoes, kotleti with cheese sauce, my favorite, and bread. For dessert, my mom serves oladi with condensed milk, cookies, and black tea. Mm -hmm. In Italy... Sometimes during the week, my family eats separately, but we always eat together on the weekends. We gather at the kitchen table around 8 o'clock to eat lasagna with ragu bolognese and, how oh. do you say that? Be oh, bechamel. Bechamel sauce. Yes, yes. Yeah. I have a friend who's a chef, and he oh. taught me that. Yeah, yeah I, I love the bolognese. That's yes. a fancy uh, way of saying meat sauce. That's right. Yeah. And they drink peach, peach iced, iced tea. tea. And mm, nice. nice. Uh, in Uganda, my brother, mom, housemaid, and I usually eat dinner around 10 o'clock at night. Oh, goodness. Everyone eats, a lot of people eat dinner a lot Very later Very late, yeah. At our big wooden table. We have matoki with g-nut sauce and milk to drink. In Japan, I eat with my parents and little sister in the dining room around 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Our typical meal is fried salmon with tata sauce, rice salad with apples, cucumbers, and tuna, tofu, miso soup, and milk or water to drink. Nice. In India, my whole family eats together around 9 o'clock in our dining room. We have chutney, carrots, and potatoes, chapati, and yogurt with water to drink. Mm. In Peru, oh sorry, I'm no, excited. Sorry, I'm excited, so excited, excited too, yeah. Uh, my entire family gathers around 7 o'clock to eat a dinner of white rice, boiled yucca, and stewed chicken with coffee to drink. Oh, I would think that would keep yeah, them up late. Yeah, yeah. I could not drink coffee at dinner. It would make me oh, so this is wild. what I do in the evening. Oh. oh. I wonder if this is after dinner. That's really late for some of these folks. Yeah, maybe they do it before dinner. Yeah, okay. I play chess with my dad. In back Russia. In, Russia. Mm -hmm. in India, my sister and I played a board game called Karom. Mm. And in Uganda, <laughs> I relax with my family. Uh, in Iran, I watch cartoons on TV. In Peru, I help my brother with his homework. In Italy, I work on model cars with my dad. And in Japan, my mom and I read mystery books together. Oh, I know a lot of our scholars like reading yeah. mystery and we books. we do a lot of these things. Yeah. Uh, in Peru, I sleep on wood planks with three folded blankets for padding next to my sister. In Italy, I sleep in my own room on a wooden bed with a down blanket I only use during the winter. Hmm. In Iran, I sleep in my own room on a wooden bed with my favorite blanket. And in Japan, I sleep on a futon on the floor next to my sister. Mm -hmm. In India, I sleep on a huge bed next to my sister and parents. In Uganda, I sleep on a wooden bed under a mosquito net oh, yeah. in a room I share with my parents. And they do that so they don't get bit by mosquitoes right. while they're sleeping. And in Russia, I sleep on a loft bed uh, in a room I share with my younger brother. Oh. You know, I know a lot of our scholars share rooms with their siblings yeah. as well. Now, we're almost to the end. And you know how we've talked about all these people love do different things in yeah, all of these different yeah. countries. But you know one thing that's the same? What? 
Oh. This is my night sky. They all seen the same sky oh, every night when they go to bed. Same moon. Same moon. That is so wonderful. Now, this is my favorite page of all. What is it? This is a page that shows the real people oh. that the author uh, interviewed and worked with to make this story possible. So, these are our families from Iran and India and Peru, Japan, Italy, Uganda, and Russia. Oh, so these were all real families. All real families. Wow, that is so Isn't cool. That fascinating? And there's a little blurb here you can read yeah. more about them, which I thought yeah. was very interesting. This, we won't do that for time. And but. it says that this is not what every person necessarily in India does, but it kind of gives you a glimpse of what life is like right. in those different countries. So we hope that you all enjoyed uh, this book as much as we did. Uh, and it is available in our library here at That's Shamrock nice. Gardens. Awesome. Well, thanks so, so much for tuning in. And uh, we'll see you next time on Live, Live with Lucky. Lucky.